This is the Palm Hammock Trail at the Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. So we're going to hike this two mile trail and we're going to see uh, Palm Hammock. We're going to uh, see all sorts of uh, wildlife and, um, and lots of different types of other trees and we'll, we'll be surprised. So uh, come join us. And we are off on the Palm Hammock Trail. And the first thing we see is a lot of ferns on the sides of the trail. So it makes for a nice uh, picturesque start to this trail. And we do have some uh, live oak. We're under a canopy of live oak, in fact. And it's uh, just a very beautiful setting here. And what we are seeing right here is uh, wild coffee. Shiny leaved wild coffee. And it looks like the uh, coffee buds are just starting to pop open. It might be a couple of months till we see the, the full coffee uh, berries, whatever they're called. But uh, a big, uh, big stand here of uh, wild coffee on both sides of the path. Continuing to see wild coffee along the trail. It's a good example. Okay, uh, we're seeing something else here, and it looks like a groundsel tree. Let's uh, get a closer look. But I believe it is a groundsel tree and they are on both sides of the uh, pathway right now. Tiny bit of a canopy that we're passing through of groundsel trees. And we're seeing a lot of um, muscadines. especially here on the right side. And the trails definitely opened up at this point. Okay, and here, this is a nice bright flower here, white flower, it's called a uh, tar flower. And we just got it starting in bloom. Some of them have not popped open yet. Okay, and we're seeing uh, something interesting here. This is called uh, colic wood. And you can see the, uh, the berries growing underneath the leaves. That's another example right here. And more there. So uh, colic wood. And a little bit more right here. And it definitely uh, feels more swampy out here. 
and we're about to uh, embark upon a boardwalk. All right, and right here in the middle of the uh, swamp along the boardwalk, we have um, a little uh, grove of red maples. You see a whole bunch of them right here to my left. And I'll zoom in a little bit on the, the leaf. And these uh, red maples extend all the way through here, pretty far back. It looks like at least 50 feet deep. I'm seeing a lot of red maples. And so they're growing here in the uh, swampy area along this bar boardwalk. And we're entering a uh, fantastically tight group of uh, sable palms or cabbage palms. Very strong concentration of them right here on the trail. And another magnificent live oak with the Spanish moss just hanging down gently. And we're uh, in a def we're definitely in a large grove of palm trees. So we're on the palm hammock right now. As we get off this boardwalk, we're on higher ground on a hammock, and it is heavily populated by sable palms. In fact, it's like a uh, a maze that we have to pass through to maneuver our way through all of these pine on uh, palms and the sign here discusses how um, the palm hammock is shaped by fire and that's a uh, common feature okay on this uh, triple tree here there are a lot of uh, lichens I get a close up of that. A little bit more right here. And a darker pigment right there. Lots of pine and based on the uh, the bases of these of these uh, palm trees. There's a lot of moss growing on it, so it tells me that sometimes these palms are submerged underwater. And you can see all of them pretty much have that, uh, have that signature here. So this, sometimes this, this trail is impassable, I'm sure, unless you're wearing some heavy boots. And one interesting thing about this palm hammock is that it is uh, under a large canopy. The palm trees themselves are growing very tall. But there are also uh, oaks and other things that provide a, a canopy here, so it's very shaded.
just want to show again this these palms above us. Okay, and off to our left here, what we see is a red mulberry tree. It's not very tall, and there's uh, more up along this part here. There's one here on the on the right. And there's another one here, which is right above me. And here I think you can see the leaves uh, better. So that's a red mulberry tree. And it's kind of a thin tree, but it, this is the uh, base of it right here. And the sable palms. As we continue to weave our way through. And again, here is a very dense, dense growth of palms. You see at least 20 right in front of me. And they're curving up, fighting for the sun. Off to our left too, there's a, a lot of them. That's of course challenging to, to fit through here. Okay, and we have a spider. And I'm sure he's catching a lot of uh, mosquitoes right here in the strategic area. And we are leaving the uh, palm hammock. So this concludes our um, journey on this trail today. And if you enjoyed um, this adventure with us, then uh, please like and, um, and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you on our next travels.